Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Hello, everybody. My name is Luana Green. I've been here all day. It's kind of hard and I was tired, but I had to come out to support my neighborhood, to support this community. I am Luana Green. I am, a, I am the president of the Chelsea Reform Democratic Club. I'm also, thank you, I'm also a resident of this neighborhood, Chelsea, for 50 years. I am also a resident of Penn South, which is right located right a couple of blocks from this location. I am here today to speak about the big lie and the big truth. The big lie is that these developers the big truth is that these developers are here to make this neighborhood better, that this neighborhood is blighted. Actually, the big truth is that these developers are getting huge tax breaks from citizens like us. They are funded, and in return, we get increased demolition, increased homeless, lost homelessness, loss of affordable housing, the imminent domain and takeover of longtime residents and businesses, the closure of hospitals, mental health facilities, programs for youth, school overcrowding, and a shortage of essential personnel, and a host of other blighted issues. This so-called blighted area has always been a tourist attraction, a tourist destination with its ornate buildings created by artisans from long ago. Its openness to receive everyone from anywhere, one of the greatest cities in the world. Yeah. The greatest city in the world is now turning into a glass pavilion, a glass and cold steel pavilion. And the impact of its demolition, of the demolition of these buildings is not only going to be environmentally unsound, but also socially unsound. I want to tell you a little bit about this. Long-time residents are leaving New York in droves because they can't afford to live here anymore. Right. There's been at least a 70% decline in the mental health facilities and drug assistance facilities in this community. Uh, there has been also an increase in luxury housing. There's approximately 2.2 million apartments for whom? Who are these apartments for that's supposed to be called affordable? Okay? Who are these for? Now, a person, an average person, makes $15 an hour, and they work approximately 40 hours a week, which means they'll bring home approximately $600 a week, which means they approximately won't be able to afford an apartment in New York City. That's affordable housing. Right. There is the average income for the Chelsea resident is now over $176,000. The average median income is over $116,000. If we keep doing this to our community, we will tear it apart. People have worked here and lived here for so long and have invested in this community when nobody else was looking at us. That's and right. all of a sudden, we have this great big land grab, which has nothing to do with community and everything to do with money. That's right. right. Woo! The closure of the mental health facilities, the sanitation issues, the Pennsylvania Hotel and the Manhattan Mall created thousands of jobs. It was also thousands of jobs lost. Why would you close a hotel that's in the center of Manhattan near a major transportation hub? Why would you do that? That is not a good business plan. That is a tearing up a neighborhood plan. That is a selfish plan. That is only money in your pocket plan. It has nothing to do with the community. They are doing nothing for our community except tearing it apart. I'm so sorry to have to stand here and say and keep coming out and saying the same things over, over and, and over and over again. When are we going to stop? Why are so many people killing each other and fighting each other and angry? Because look at what we've done in our society. When is it going to